Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing okay wherever it is that you are. I'd gotten some requests <clears throat> and uh, specifically someone had asked about this NUMA. Uh, this video is for you. They are, the United States is going to be conducting a test of its emergency uh, alert network on October 4th. It is scheduled approximately 2.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless weather changes and uh, it will be delayed. This is what uh, you can get off AP Poll or, you know, Apple News, whatever it is that you want to do. Now, in response to hearing about this earlier, Russia has, will be doing their own testing of their own emergency broadcast network. And I believe that is going to be on the second, which is on a uh, Tuesday. I believe that's right. And, you know, the questions have come up, can you use uh, a microwave to act as a Faraday cage if you did not want those signals broadcasted to any of your devices? Can you use a refrigerator? So we're gonna check out, I've got an extra refrigerator down here in the basement. And uh, so I cleaned it up and we're going to check and see. And then we're going to do some improvising and show you what actually works. I think you'll be surprised. More okay time. guys, now we're back. So we're going to be conducting a few tests. We're going to be using a control uh, which is going to be a cell phone just inside a refrigerator without any other shielding except for the refrigerator. And then we will be using Mylar bag. And then we will be using aluminum foil. And uh, we may put them in the refrigerator just for the heck of it. Uh, to see how well it works. But again, you're going to be surprised by the results. Okay, guys, now we're back. back. This is just an old refrigerator that we had. Uh, I used it to keep stuff in, uh, seeds and stuff like that. You can see it does not have any power to it. But we are going to uh, take my daughter's cell phone, set it down inside here, and close it up. It's closed pretty good. And now, Hooch, if you would, go ahead and call. And now we'll just listen. You can hear it ringing inside. And you can see it ringing inside. Okay, okay guys, now so, we're back. We're gonna take the phone. And we're going to put it, there we go, it's on and working. We're going to put it inside a Mylar bag. And we're going to seal it up. Now, we know it doesn't work in the refrigerator. So, we're not even going to bother putting this in the refrigerator. It's just going to be a Mylar bag sitting on the shelf. Okay, call the number if you would, babe. see she's calling it and nothing working now let's open it up and let's see if it picks up a signal yeah it's picking it up now there it goes picks it up. There we go. So, the Mylar bag works by itself. Now, what if you don't have a Mylar bag? These things aren't terribly expensive. Uh, you can get 50 of them for 30 bucks, buy them off Amazon. Uh, Scott Coffer uh, bought these for me for the channel. And uh, thanks, Scott. And this one has the, uh, again, the re reclosable Top, so blocks frequencies and it's waterproof. But what if you don't have that? How about just a piece of aluminum foil? Just wrap this thing up like you do leftovers. 
and fold it up just like that. Okay, call that number if you would, babe. Okay. She is calling it. It's trying to get through. Let's unwrap it. There it goes. So. Okay, guys, More now time. we're back. So while this may not be ideal, what I can do, it's like if I have sensitive things like optics and lasers that go on some sort of pow pow. If I wanted to, I could take these slide them in if you have a night vision scope any kind of fr stuff then this could just go in a drawer in a gun safe in a refrigerator i'm going to keep everything in there so things like headlamps radios um, if you don't have a bag big enough, this is a quart size bag. They do make them, hang on a second. I've got the larger one. They do make them in gallon size. You see the difference. So, something like a portable shortwave radio. go in here, fold it over, seal it up. I'm just going to keep this stuff in the refrigerator just for storage, just to keep everything neat. But gun optics, night, uh, night vision, electric scopes, headlamps, anything that has a LED bulb, would do pretty well in one of these. And you're also having the added benefit of the refrigerator, if you have an older refrigerator. If it does work, do your own test. Take two phones. Put one phone in the refrigerator. That's running. Call it. See if you get one. You can do your microwave also. They say those work uh, fairly well. Not as good as refrigerators. Here's a kick in the butt. Don't let anybody turn uh, the microwave on while you're checking it because that would fry those delicate electronics. I hope this helps some of you guys for the test that's coming up. What do I think about it? I think it's more bread and circuses, but two super countries are going to be doing it. And uh, will I have mine protected? Yes, absolutely. Laptop, uh, backup external hard drives, tablets, uh, phones, um, uh, th there's something that this could also be used for, uh, ladies, if you ever had a phone that you did not want someone to know about, and if you were in a bad, uh, relationship or something like that, or you knew something was going bad, this would be an excellent way for you to have a phone safe, stored away, tucked away, unzip it, pull it out, and you are able to, uh, use it and, while it is in there, nothing is bouncing off of any cell phone towers. Just food for thought on that one. Uh, so what am I talking about? Maybe a burner phone, something like that. Would you do that? Absolutely. I would absolutely do something like that. Walkie-talkies, uh, <coughs> uh, your handheld uh, communications devices. Uh, the small, uh, small shortwave, small CB, stuff like that. Absolutely. I would do all of that with it. And uh, it's probably what I'm going to start doing uh, for my sensitive optics, especially, especially the stuff, uh, you, you know, night vision and uh, other stuff for the pow-pows. Um, 
that would just be what I would do. Sorry this video got kind of long and I went on a little tangent on the end. There's all kinds of different applications for this. You don't have to buy the big Faraday bag. That's 20, 30 bucks. Um, think about it. Hope this helps some people. Take care of you people.